Hey everybody, thought I'd share some video of uh, old home movies that my grandfather Hugh made way back in the 1940s. Start out with this front window of our dealership, that's the image you're seeing right now. That um, Vern, he was my great grandfather. And then my grandfather Hugh took the reins from him and he was a bit of a shutter bug and was always uh, recording something and uh, this is what we've got for a forage harvesting videos. You'll want to forgive the quality on some of this. These movies were made a long time ago, as you can see, black and white. And then my aunt, probably 20 years ago, had them transferred to VHS tapes, and I used that VHS tape to put it on the computer. I spent lots of hours correcting the speed on some of it and the brightness, stuff like that. But sometimes when it was dark and I'd brighten it up, you can kind of see the effects of the VHS tape in there. Most of it's pretty good though, especially considering how old it is. This piece here, I'm pretty sure is from just down the road, uh, the neighbor's uh, Southworth Farms, and I'm guessing that just by the hills. They've got some of the hilliest ground around us. Just kind of looks familiar to that area. I could be wrong on that. They were good customers throughout the years, right up until we closed. I can't quite read the name on the truck there. But we were an Oliver dealer and we also sold Gale equipment. And so that's what a lot of these forage harvesting videos are of Oliver tractors pulling Gale forage harvesters. Now we've got an Oliver 80, they're getting ready to unload. And that's belted up to a forage blower. And you can see why there was less unemployment back then. Everybody had a job. Unloading, unloading forage was a lot more work. You can see that's a gale blower in the background there being powered by the tractor. And, and there's the power unloader. Guy with the long lever ratcheting away. And the other guys pick away at it. But I'm sure they felt like they had the world, the greatest, latest technology at the time. You might notice some repeats in some of the images. When I did this on my computer many years ago, the software I had every now and then would like to randomly repeat scenes when I was time correcting it. Some of this stuff just looked like it was running way too fast. And, and oh, look, we're back in, we're in back in Oz, full color. Grandpa did a lot of color footage back then. And it's amazing to me that was something else I had to do on the computer was try to bring out some of these colors on these old videos. And so it was quite a bit of work and every now and then that old software just made an error and would repeat a scene. So if you see something you've already seen before, I guess enjoy it a second time. This scene here is from a uh, forage demonstration day. I'm not sure where it was at. My guess would be probably somewhere near Michigan State University. They did a lot of that stuff. Um, there's all sorts of different brands there. See an Oliver 60. I think that was my grandpa Hugh on that tractor. Um, I'm not even sure what brand chopper that is. Okay, right here, the guy at the older gentleman right at the bottom of the screen with the, I guess I call that a derby style hat. That is my great grandfather, Vern. He passed away six months after I was born, so I never really knew him.
but just kind of interesting to be able to see them in a movie like that. Got a Silver King pulling a Gale Forge Harvester. This might have been at our place. I was told they had a Silver King they'd taken in on trade and they used it on the farm for a while before they did eventually sell it. And we're back to And we're back to the demonstration day. Uh, not sure who these guys are. They're trying to keep from ending up on film. Whatever it was, it drew a large crowd. But then again, a lot more people made their living farming back then. So, and people dressed up for stuff like this. Oh, this is, I'm sure, from our place, Oliver 70 wide front. Didn't recognize the people driving it, though. As you can see, there's a little bit of everything going on here. I'm guessing that's the dealer name. Something, uh, maybe Nelson Implement Company on the hood of that tractor. I'm hoping to get these original films. Got to dig them back up and take them in and have them digitally converted. There should be a lot more detail available if they're done with more modern equipment. Of course, there's no sound to these films. I'm just still amazed that they're in color. So, like uh, here with a John Deere, I guess you can make your own putt-putt sounds if it really makes you feel good. You'll notice most of the equipment is powered by its own engine. Um, a lot of these tractors did not have independent PTO and so a lot of your implements were still self-powered back in that day. Now here's a contingent from our dealership, the Oliver 70 and the Gale Forge Harvester. I just love the pinstriping and paintwork on that machine. I think it's neat. It'd be great to find one and restore it. Oh. The Massey Harris and whatever uh, brand it's pulling, I'm guessing another Massey Harris green chopping. It looks like it's going to beat that grass into submission. <laughs> uh. Back when men had nerves of steel, you probably wouldn't catch many people uh, trying to back up a set of ramps made out of some boards and some blocks like that. If that's exactly what they were doing back then to get the truck high enough to dump into the forage blower. The whole time the belt's running right next to them. Stuff we just probably wouldn't even dream of doing today. But they got the job done. I'm amazed how much chopping on the go with... Blowing into a truck was happening back then as opposed to pulling a wagon behind. Yep, there's a fox unit. Looks like it's being pulled by an Oliver.
Here's a quick scene in there. There you can see the window that says Vern Losey and Sons. That's the front of our dealership building way back in the day. Hadn't even been painted yet. I think that's what they're working on there on the ladder. We still own that building to this day. I see stuff like this and I just understand why there used to be so many more farm accidents. Look at that load slide on down there. Here's that Gale chopper again. Pretty much any tractor that could pull the weight could pull it because it had its own engine. Looks like Grandpa wasn't afraid to climb into the wagon to get some good footage of these machines working. Here we see the Gale chopper chopping corn. Um, wish they'd gotten better imagery of the chopper itself. Like I was mentioning earlier, I just really like the paint job on it. Just a neat looking machine. Here we have a Oliver Fleet Line. That's the newest tractor I saw in the footage, at least of the ones I recognize, and definitely of the Olivers. So that just kind of dates these things. Could be late. I've got other videos, about an hour and a half worth of farm stuff that Grandpa filmed over the years. I'll be putting more of these together as time permits. Hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing your comments down below. And thanks for watching.